Hi, I'm Mark Summerfield, and I'm the author of Programming in Go, uh, a new book about the Go One programming language from Google. Uh, this tip is about function literals. Uh, some languages, dynamic languages, have had function literals for quite a while. They're rather a novelty in compiled languages, although C++11 has just introduced them. Go supports them very naturally. In the Go documentation, they're, they're often um, called function literals. Uh, but in other languages, they're called lambdas. Another word that can be used about them is closure. And the reason for that term is when you create a function literal, it, you, you use syntax almost identical to creating a normal function. But what happens is that inside the function, if you uh, refer to any variable in an enclosing scope that's actually outside the function, the, lit the function literal captures that variable state. Uh, and that means you can create multiple functions. Uh, you can create function factories using function literals. And, and you can pass them uh, to Go routines, which are Go's equivalent to threads. Um, which means you can package up functionality and, and pass it around uh, between different parts of your program. Now, some uh, variables in Go are um, immutable, for example, numbers and, and strings. So they're safe to capture. But you can also capture references and pointers. And of course, with those, if you pass them to multiple Go routines, that is, multiple threads in uh, that means you have to serialize or otherwise protect the access to them uh, if you're doing if you're writing to them but if you're reading that's that's perfectly okay so function literals are a new they're, they're not new in in terms of computer science theory but they're they're quite new in terms of compiled languages and and they're certainly worth considering using uh, and they can be very convenient and the other thing about go function literals and indeed go generally it's all type safe uh, so you can use uh, you can pass function literals as as callbacks and yet they're type safe that so if you call the callback that's been passed uh, with the wrong types you'll get a compile time error not a runtime error so your program won't crash you'll, you it won't even compile until you get it right so I think that's pretty useful uh, I cover that I give one example, quite a nice example, I think, in chapter one of the book, uh, which is available for free download, um, where I capture a map that's a, or a data dictionary uh, as a data structure um, through which you get access through a closure. And, and more examples are given later in the book.